we were talking about finding an apprentice. Mm -hmm. And it occurred to me how, how really critical it is, not just for surfboard builders, but across the board. Mm -hmm. How do you really find craftsmen? What trouble, what, 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 what do you come up against with, with, with finding? Well, the main uh, issue with me finding people uh, are, are people that really want to delve into learning the skill, learning the trade, taking the patience uh, to do that. And um, at the same time, not earning a lot of money while they're learning the trade and uh, knowing the expectations of uh, the, the, the passion that it takes to be a good woodworker. How, how, how much is, is critical to you to show them the reward of the rainbow? You know, that, 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 that they can get there. What, 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 how does that work? Well, it, it can be uh, pretty evident and inspiring right off the bat if they see uh, something that's been created because that's one, one thing that's very special about this trade is that it's very gratifying and you, you, you end the day thinking and knowing that you built something from nothing or from wood but uh, that you've created something that you really take home uh, uh, with pride. I started my career in uh, Manhattan under the apprenticeship of a master uh, cabinet maker, and I was immediately, you know, bitten. Uh, the, you know, the the bug got to me right away. Um, the first day I started, I, I built something and was able to uh, just had so much joy when I went home. And uh, that kind of passion just lingers and doesn't go away. And the more you do that, the more that, you, that it grows on you. And I've taught uh, school and classes in Manhattan. Uh, and it was a great joy to see um, the satisfaction that all the students uh, took you know, from creating what they wanted to create. We set up a school where where they could build anything they wanted within reason. They couldn't do a kitchen or something, but a piece of furniture or what have you. And we'd help them design it and help them uh, build it and uh, choose a species of wood. And the, the joy that, uh, to see people create something like that was very rewarding. And then you have a... So there's a continual challenge because something's going to come up, you know, I mean, it, it, Flaubert said a work of art's never finished, it's merely abandoned. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and, and movie making's exactly the same way. I mean, at yeah. some point, you're going to, you can't, I can change yeah. it infinitely. Yeah. And, and that's kind of why I've gone in the direction I wanted to, is, is because I really like the challenge of, of engineering new methods of, of uh, joinery and construction. Of, of, uh, of creating, you know, products for other people, but uh, have always uh, cherished the the challenge.